But uh, morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is a special day. It is Sophia's birthday. How old are you, Sophie? 13. 13, it's her 13th birthday. And a couple of years ago, she got a new puppy. Not for your birthday. Oh, it was for your birthday. Yeah, it was. Two years ago? Yeah, because she's two. She's two. I don't know. She's born in July. So, so I got her on my 12th birthday, I think. Wait, right? No. 11? Yeah. Got her for your 11th birthday. It's hard to remember. She's going to help me open them. So if you Even guys... know mine's all the way down at the barn right now. So you guys know that two years ago, we got Sophie. We surprised her with a miniature no we surprised her with a puppy a dalmatian puppy because puppies or dalmatians were her dream she loves spotted animals and this year two years later we surprised her with a pony a miniature horse baby um they are she's doing super well we're really happy to have her she's like bringing such a joy to our lives um and so and her breeds uh Leopard yeah, and we, it like it happened so crazy. How I'll have to tell you guys the story about how we how we ended up getting Sophie a blanket Appaloosa baby. Like it's just such a crazy story. And when things are meant to happen, they just happen so fast, organic, and easy. It's just crazy. But anyway, I'll tell you guys that story. Has spots. Yeah, I mean she might not have spots. She could be a solid, but she has some modeling in places that indicate that she probably is gonna have spots. Spots like that beautiful girl, <laughs> Sam, loving on the on Sophie's puppy. Do you want a puppy for your for your birthday? No way. <laughs> no way. Already trained one. Mm -hmm. All right. So, anyways, your dad bought you a huge present. He went out before we knew you were gonna get the the bit the pony. Like we had to be approved to get it. We didn't know if it was gonna happen, when it was gonna happen. Like we had to be approved. And so before we got the notification that we were gonna get her. Uh, your dad bought you a present, but we're going to keep it for Christmas. It was super expensive, something that you wanted, and it's your, we're just going to keep it for Christmas, okay? But we also bought her just a couple of really little things that we wanted her to have. Pig. Yeah, we used Peppa Pig because that's wrapping paper left over for my granddaughter's birthday. So these are just things that we wanted her, that she wanted, or we wanted her to have. They're just tiny things, um, nothing to do with her her pony yeah my big presents down there yeah so she's gonna open them oh that was kind of hard oh and organize her for my cast yeah makeup and stuff so i briefly videoed a few weeks ago where she got like a little vanity for her room to do her makeup and sit at and and all that kind of stuff so yeah she wanted something like that to put her brushes and her makeup in and to organize it so so she got that. You're welcome. You're welcome. And this last thing is something that she also wanted that I thought it would be fun for her to have like through the winter and th through the winter months. Something to do it while it's cold outside or at least just to try. It doesn't shake. Do you remember what you asked for? No. Yeah, you asked for a lot of things. I still don't know what it is. You should have a clue. Do you have a clue, Gabby? No. You've already gotten something like that that looks like that before with the same packaging from the same company. Well, yeah, I know what it looks like. Oh, I wanted to try this. Yeah. So I thought it would be so super fun. It's a whole kit. Oh. You use that to like do it on. Oh. So should we tell them what it is? Yes, I don't know what it's called. It's called felting. So here, let me just show them. So it's this whole kit. Uh, you guys know we did like some clay and some embroidery oh, and no, no, no. this is felting. You it's use needles so and felt. Them. Yeah. You knew, you use needles and felt and you can make like little dolls. You can make so many different things. Happy birthday, Sophie. Thanks. <laughs> this one in particular makes these little creatures. Makes these little critters. I think they're like Japanese inspired little critters, like little bears and stuff. So that's just something small that she can practice and work on. If you guys don't know what felting is, you should check it out. Here, let me show them. I'm making this. Yeah, so I got a kit that she can actually make these little tiny felt creatures. And they're so cute. So there's that one. And then this little one with the red hat. A little cat. And, and then there's this little foxy one. Thanks. And 
thank you to everybody who sent me birthday wishes and videos. I love them so much and they made my day. I also just wanted to say that Sophie is such a happy, easygoing, friendly, loving girl. And it's so easy for you guys to see it because she is so outspoken and extroverted and Gabby is still quiet but last night when we were at riding lessons I was so shocked at like I just stood there for a few minutes and was looking around and realizing like how loving and kind that both of my girls are like Sophie is so outwardly kind and beautiful in her spirit and you can see that and Gabby is so much more quiet like her dad but just is amazing she helps every single person like she's so helpful she will help anyone she's so loving and sweet and has just her own way of showing it and I was so proud because I swear like it took me a long time to learn how to be kind and how to be loving and how to show all that to other people my girls are killing it and it made me so proud last night <laughs> she's like you're back <laughs> did you guys hear her calling Sophie when she saw her it was so cute Thor hello honey bear so if you guys watch Sophie's channel she's not a big fan of Ruby Sophie's life all right if you guys watch Sophie's channel Sophie's life right here on YouTube. She did a video on her channel and she's starting up again. She That's, put her halter on with no complaints. Yeah, on. she's so good. Like mm. even when she does complain, she does nothing. So she's so good. Anyway, what's her name? Sophie announced it to all of our friends on our channel. Honey. Honey, what do you call her? I call her Honey Bun. You call her Honey Bun. I call her Honey Bear. I call her Honey Boo. I call her I call her honey running, no, I call her honey all sorts of honey pot, honey, like, we just, it's stuck. Tell them why you, oh, no, 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 no. ah, oh, Ruby, <laughs> my foot, I thought I put my foot Yeah, you always ground. ran into Ruby. <laughs> Tell them why do you decided on honey. Because I keep calling her that. Yeah, like, that was one of the first things she was trying out, she was like, honey, I like Gemma because she's a no. gem to me. I would name her Gemma. Pop Tart. And so Gabby wants to name her Pop Tart. Look, she oh, knows where her God. stall is. And she's like, I'm not going in. Oh, she's going. She might get some Did water. you clean it today? Yeah. Oh, good job. I stayed up at the house this morning to wrap Sophie's present. All right, Gabby, let's get these guys in here. Sophie is actually having a party today. Uh, who can guess what kind of a party we're having? But she's having a party today, and of course, it's the coldest day of the year. Oh man, it is freezing. It's supposed to be so warm, like 80 degrees, or close to 80 degrees. Now let me go check. <laughs> God, he's a little cold. <laughs> she's got Chino's cooler on. So, it's gonna be 70 degrees this weekend. I could put Honey's cooler on me. It would be my head. <laughs> yeah, she's so tiny. People, I had a comment on Facebook saying that she's too young to take from her mom. But she absolutely is not. She's a miniature foal. I'm thinking maybe the girl didn't realize that she's a miniature horse foal, not a regular horse foal. She's not even tiny. She's almost like three quarters of the size of Willow. The arena first? Uh, if you close that gate, yeah. She's literally almost three quarters of the size of Willow already. She's weaned. She's weaned and ready to go and definitely not really young. All right, there we go, it's playtime. Oh, she's, <laughs> she's, she's such a calm baby, to be honest. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> she wanted you to have a little running time. Yeah, go ahead. What? Aww. <laughs> you see, she went down the step. She's so careful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, usually we can tell who's been doing what. Sam's still working on a camera system. The camera, the camera he bought does not work. He had to send it back. But, we left this in a maze. But look, it's actually a really cool new maze. She's just redesigning. So we figure it was it was Penny. She must have got hungry and was like, hmm, I'll redecorate. You wanna do a maze? Don't let her go over the pole, because she'll jump them. 
There will be no jumping. So as you guys know, miniature foals mature at around three years of age, whereas like a regular horse would mature at five years. <laughs> yeah, we're like, don't do that. <laughs> but just the same as like a regular horse, yeah, she can't do any like anything that's hard on her joints and anything like jumping. Oh, she's figuring it out. She's like, help, I'm in a maze. <laughs> How do I get to my girl? <laughs> I know you guys are getting a lot of baby footage right now, but it's because we want to document this to keep it forever because she's only going to be a baby for such a short time, like a couple, a few more months and like not very long and she'll be a year. Before spring, she'll be a year. Like we have this last season with her being this little. Honestly, it is so cold, like so cold. Like winter cold. I know. She loves buckets. Buckets are her thing. But she's doing really well. Sophie's been working and learning so much. We've all been learning so much. We've seen like a lot of our friends have had foals and we've helped them at times and we've uh, been around them and stuff. So we've like gone through foals with our friends. And like I said, we have a lot of friends or we have like a trainer helping us out. And I have other friends that are helping us out. Come on! Like in this wind, there's no way they're gonna hear this. Us. I don't want to walk. Like we're gonna freeze more waiting for them to come than we are if we went out there and got them. Ow! There. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sophie. Hope you have the best party. Oh my gosh! All right, we sent the boss out. We sent the boss. You I'm frozen. I'm freezing. I have gloves on. Oh, I hate the field gloves on my hands. Oh, I'm so cold. Horses are not dumb. They're just standing there staring at her. I'm not even joking. But my hair is dumb. Yeah. Because I brush it like 50 million times a day and it still looks like I didn't brush it. Yeah, mine do. Like, yours actually looks brushed. It's just because you go like, hee hee. <laughs> what do I do? You go like, hee hee. <laughs> Somebody make like, that into a meme. That's so funny. No, don't deny it. <laughs> She said, I try to make my hair poofy, and she tries to make hers not poofy. It's because uh, my hair's like more straight than hers. You want to trade? Yeah. And they're coming. Here comes the little herd. Come on, little stars. I love that view. The herd coming up over the hill. Penny stops to eat. <laughs> She's in the red. <laughs> oh my god. The red monster. turn around and I see this. <laughs> Penny. She's like, I don't want you to brush me off. So you guys know I'm that really picky bad. about brushes. I only like my gloves. I actually love this hard brush. This is one of my favorites. It's an old one that we DIY'd, sparkled years ago on our channel. Got Sophia, do you think you're gonna do like crafts on your channel? Anyway, I love this brush and I'm excited for Sophie's new channel. Like she's gonna do things that we don't do on our channel. It's more like she has so many ideas. She's like so, she's such a vlogger, way more than I've ever been. Like it's her thing, she loves it. But anyway, I also wanted to tell you guys that we've been working with an equine nutritionist. I've been learning so much. And we've been learning so much like about Chino's feet and health and like about how we feed horses and you guys would be shocked. Like. Unless you study equine nutrition, there's so much stuff that you don't know and you think like you're doing the best thing, like we all think we're doing the best thing. And then like with grain, just even giving your horse grain can cause so many problems you don't even know. But if you know, you can kind of correct it. 
So you guys know we took Chino's shoes off. I can't wait to tell you all the things, the changes that we've made and that we are making. He has like transitioned through the shoe thing so fast, so easy, so well. He seems really happy, seems really healthy. He's getting his feet down right now by Gabby with no lead rope. And that's something that we like really do a lot of at our farm, like at our own house, is no lead ropes, no whips, no crops, no none of that stuff. Just like, like all of our mares, we can pick up their feet and take care of their feet and clean their feet, even without just standing in the middle of the arena, which might not seem like a big deal, but. Hip bump. Good, good girl. <laughs> no, thank we'll you. We'll take a treat for you. The dogs all have a treat. What are they eating? Poo. Oh. <laughs> These are the cupcakes for tonight for her party. But we don't eat the box. That's that's bad. We don't eat the box, Sophie. You good know, job. Wanna, now I want to try and the box. And somebody's trusting you with a foal? <laughs> now I want to try the box. <laughs> All right. Wow. Ooh. So we got these from like a uh, fancy bakery that's near us. It's like so super amazing. Gab Sophie and I like vanilla. And Gabby, Sophie's like, do you think he would get to vanilla? Did, did you tell him to get vanilla? I'm like, no. But you know what? He's going to get mostly chocolate. Cause that's what he likes. Wow, cookies and cream. Which one, if you could choose, whichever cupcake. And then comment below, what is your favorite flavor, chocolate or vanilla? I personally want a carrot cake. What do I you like? I want the vanilla, but with that stuff on top. Uh, don't you like the sparkly sprinkles one? These are Halloween sprinkles. I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably take the icing off, cause I don't like too much icing on my cupcakes. Don't you know that you're beautiful?